Hello friends, welcome to the YouTube channel Spectrum Science. In this video, we will learn about capacitor. It is an important passive linear energy storing element. Capacitors have wide range of application. Like in power supply, it is used for power factor correction. It is used in signal coupling and decoupling. Capacitors are the main element of low pass and high pass filter. It is also used in motor starter and in tuned circuit. It is called capacitor because it has capacity to store energy in the form of electric field. There are a variety of capacitors available in the market and each have specific range of application. For example, the capacitor used to reduce ripple in the DC supply will not work for high frequency application. When a voltage is applied across the capacitor, it gets charged up to the same voltage level. Energy provided by the battery is stored in the electric field of the capacitor. When this charged capacitor is connected across the load, it drives the load. So here you can see the bulb glows when connected across the charged capacitor. So you can see that energy stored by the battery is used to glow the bulb at later stage. In the intermediary stage, capacitor stores energy in the form of electric field. Unlike resistor which dissipate energy, capacitor don't dissipate but stores energy which can be retrieved at later time. Working of a capacitor A capacitor consists of two conducting metal plate separated by an insulator or dielectric. This dielectric can be aluminum foil, air, ceramic, paper or mica. And on the basis of this dielectric, capacitors are classified as film capacitor, ceramic capacitor or electrolytic capacitor. All these capacitors have specific range of application. Initially, both the plates of capacitor are neutral. When a voltage is applied across the capacitor, the plate connected to the positive terminal of the battery experiences a positive charge and an electron from the plate moves to the battery. And with time, there is deficit of electron on this plate and it develops a positive charge. Similarly, electron from the negative terminal of the battery moves to the right plate of capacitor. And with accumulation of electron on this plate, it develops a negative charge. Now let us see what happens inside a dielectric. So dielectric is a polar molecule, that is, it has dipole even in the absence of electric field. When this molecule experiences an electric field, the dipoles get aligned in the direction of electric field. And because of that, there is a net accumulation of positive charge at the bottom of dielectric and negative charge at the top of dielectric. So the electric field inside the dielectric is from bottom to top, that is in opposite direction of the external applied electric field. If the dielectric is a non-polar molecule, that is it does not have dipole in the absence of electric field, when such molecules experience an external electric field, then there is a displacement of net positive charge in the direction of electric field and negative charge in opposite direction of electric field. Because of this displacement of charges from the equilibrium position, there is a creation of dipole. All these dipoles get aligned in the direction of electric field. And here also, there will be a net accumulation of positive charge at the bottom of dielectric and negative charge at the top of dielectric. So, the electric field inside the dielectric will be in opposite direction of the external applied electric field. So, we can say that the charge distribution inside the dielectric is such a way that the electric field inside the dielectric will be in opposite direction to the applied external electric field. Hence, we can say that electric field inside a capacitor decreases with the insertion of dielectric. When a voltage source V is connected to the capacitor, the source deposits a positive charge Q on one plate and a negative charge minus Q on the other plate. The amount of charge stored is proportional to the applied electric voltage, which can be rewritten as Q equals to Cp, where C is the constant of proportionality called the capacitance of capacitor. The unit of capacitance is Farad, given in the honor of English physicist Michael Farad. Generally, Farad is very large unit of capacitance and we use microfarad, nanofarad or picofarad as a unit of capacitance. This equation Q equals to Cv can be rewritten as C equals to Q by V, that is charge stored per unit applied voltage. As we know that electric field inside a capacitor is equal to V by D, where V is the voltage applied across its plate and D is the separation distance between the plates. So, we can rewrite capacitance of capacitor as C equals to Q by ED. 
as we have seen that with the insertion of a direct field inside a capacitor its electric field decreases so its capacitance will increase hence we can say that with the insertion of a dielectric inside a capacitor its capacitance increases although the capacitance of capacitor is the ratio of charge per unit applied voltage but its value does not depend on q or v it depends on the physical dimension of the capacitor for example for parallel plate capacitor its capacitance is given by c equals to epsilon a by t where a is the area of conducting plate d is the spacing between the plate and epsilon is the permittivity of dielectric which is equals to epsilon not into epsilon r where epsilon not is the permittivity of air and epsilon r is the relative permittivity of dielectric so let us see how these parameters affects the capacitance of capacitor as the area of conducting plate increases then the capacitance of capacitor will increase if the spacing between the plate increases then the capacitance of capacitor will decrease similarly if the permittivity of dielectric increases then the capacitance of capacitor will increase if you have any query or suggestion please comment in the comment box don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe this channel